What is up, everybody? My name is Watchmiker, and welcome back to another survival modded series uh, video. Uh, unfortunately, I had a little bit of a mishap. As you can see uh, behind me, I have some of the Create Mod stuff going, and I promise you I did record it. The only problem is that apparently the entire time my mic wasn't working, so I didn't have any audio to actually give you guys um, in this case. So let me just give you a quick walkthrough of what I did do, and then we'll get into what I need to do now. Um, so the first thing that I did was I made this little guy here. This is a mechanical press. And to show you what it does, basically you toss a piece of iron or something like that in there, and it goes smoosh and you end up with iron sheets. Um, I then used those iron sheets to make the uh, harvesters that are on the end of this long arm here. And those harvesters uh, go through these crops and they basically will cut the crops and replant so that I will have just a never ending stream of crops. Um, I also had to, of course, make like the linear chassis, and I think this is called like a bearing of some sort, so that the arm swings around. Uh, I, I did all of that, honestly, like uh, like an hour ago, but I, I don't have any time this week. I'm running a little short on time, so I can't like redo it to show you what I did, which is what I'd like to do, you know, because, you know, I would think everyone would want to know what I did. But... Yeah, I, so this this is what I did so far. I'm sorry about that. That is totally my bad. And now I just need to tell you what I'm going to be doing uh, in this case. So this harvester here that we're taking a ride on right now has a feature where you can put a chest on top. And as it goes around and it collects the crops, it'll actually just land in that chest and the chest will hold everything that is harvested. Um, I can't do that right now because to put the chest on the linear chassis, I need super glue. And for super glue, I need slime balls and I don't have any. So what I need to do is I need to go exploring. I need to find myself some slime or some source of slime balls. And hopefully I can find that this episode. Um, just to double check, I don't have any slime balls just randomly floating around in my inventory. No, of course I don't. But yeah, I will uh, do some exploring. We'll find some slime balls and hopefully we'll get the super glue so that we can get the first of our hopefully very many contraptions complete. All right, let's get started or better better yet, let's let's just keep going. So I came down here into my pit from above and I'm looking for a slime chunk. Hopefully there's a slime chunk around here somewhere. If there is, that would be really great because then I can not worry so much about finding some slimes in the future. I can just go back to my slime chunk. Um, I'm hoping that it'll be pretty easy to find. This is a really big open cave system, so something should pop up. All I gotta do is make sure to light the area up so that other stuff can't really spawn. And the slimes will hopefully just come about. So. Let's hope I don't die as I sit here with an arrow in my face. Look, I got it in my mouth. Lovely. Okay, um... Hi. I don't know what you are. I don't know what mod you're from. I mean, you're certainly interesting. Can I feed you anything? No? Can I stand on you? What are you supposed to be? I don't want to hurt you because you seem totally harmless. Um, can I pet you? Pet, 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 pet. No. I I don't know what you are. Some kind of cave turtle. I mean, cool. Don't hurt me, okay? I'm going to turn my back. I'm going to keep looking for slimes. Just uh, don't turn into some kind of weird evil turtle. 
All right. All right. So exploring the lower parts of the pit haven't been the best experiences uh, at the moment. I have been going about, I'm getting shot at right now. Um, I've been going about trying to light everything up. Uh, obviously, I've been having trouble with some mobs. I did find this guy, um, the lovely, lovely Amethyst Geode. So that might be helpful. But so far, I haven't found what I'm really looking for, which, of course, is the slime chunks. Um, I haven't seen a single slime, haven't heard a single slime. I'm down to just eating tomatoes, so I can't really stay down here much longer. And, uh, yeah, I I'm not having a whole ton of success. So, I might have to scrap the idea of putting the chest on tonight. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to scrap that idea, but if it comes to that, well... We'll just have to move on to something else so that I don't spend my entire night with the limited time that I have just kind of roaming about a cave. Please like and subscribe so I can have a little bit more time. It would be so wonderful. So when I came back up here looking for um, some food, which I found, I got my bread. Um, I noticed that my crops were getting trampled and by the head that I'm currently wearing, I bet you can kind of tell who the culprit was. Um, all of the ridiculous amounts of iron golems that I had around my base just kept on crawling up on top of this arm here. And they would just get pushed around until they path found their way off. And then, well, they'd fall on my crops. So I knocked a few of them out. Uh, not the easiest thing in the world to do. But once they were taken care of, uh, except for that guy over there, apparently, I just um, went ahead and replanted the crops. And you saw I just finished what I was doing there. So there we go. Iron Golem all taken care of. Hopefully uh, they won't be a problem for me in the future. I did find something else out about this mod pack that was really cool. And it's located back over here. Um... All the villagers. Uh, apparently, in this mod pack, if you just shift and right click, you can pick the villagers up and move them around and even put them in chests. So I just went ahead and put them all in chests, both so they would stop spawning these guys and so that they're safe and I don't have to worry about mobs just randomly coming along and taking out my wonderful villagers. So it's kind of wonderful. I love it. Uh, when I'm ready for the villagers, I'll be able to place them and breed them and do everything that I need to do with them. But until then, they have a really safe spot right here in my home, in that little chest, and they'll be nice and safe. So, anyway, let's continue trying to find some slime blocks. Um, if I can't find them very soon, then, well, we're going to have to call it a day with trying to find slime blocks and hopefully... Uh, managed to do something else. Uh, this might be a short episode. Okay, so here we go. We've got ourselves a slime. And apparently, we've also got ourselves in some zombies. Some rich zombies, apparently. And we just broke our sword. But hey, check it out. We've got a slime. Hopefully, that means a slime chunk. Uh, we'll find out in a second as soon as everyone stops trying to take me out. Come on, man. All right. Slime. Slime. Beautiful. So this was the area that the slime was just in. Hopefully that means that this is a slime chunk and they will spawn more. Uh, I probably have to light up way more than I originally did. But I do think that just that one little slime gave me exactly what I needed, um, which was just two little slime balls. I think I have enough to actually make the super glue now. Um, and I think it's even something that you can make. Yeah, here it is. Two slime balls, an iron sheet, and an iron nugget. I definitely have all of that. So let's go back home. Let's finish off that build so that we can have a nice bit of storage for all of the crops that we will hopefully be getting very soon. Let's do it.
Okay, so we've got our chests and finally we have our super glue. Let's head over here to the iron golem who's giving himself a nice little ride. And let's just go ahead and quickly turn this off. Just wait for it to turn around here. Boom. All right, now I think what I have to do is I have to put in these two bits here and then super glue, super glue. Um, I, I hope that that's correct. Maybe I have to actually do that instead. I don't know, let's see. Does it work? It's moving. It's moving, that's a good thing. Okay, and it looks like, I mean, the stuff that was floating, I can understand why it wouldn't pick that up, but if I, uh-oh, <laughs> I think I super glued, I think I super glued the chest shut. Oh no, I didn't super glue it shut. Awesome. So, yep, looks like the chest is picking up items. I just have to stop the whole thing in order to get it to actually, um, yeah in order to get it to actually uh, let me look at the chest. Oh, now that's interesting. So if this doesn't... Okay. I'm glad I, I'm glad I saw that. So this, if it stops on top of actual farmland, it will break the farmland. Okay. Good to know. Because now I can figure out how to make it so that it doesn't do that. I'll have to have a spot where it, it definitely stops every time. So maybe like here. We'll just... Oops. Not there. Not that. Nope. Oh, boy. Just super glued that piece in place. That's not moving anymore. I was thinking maybe right here. So I'll just make a path block. That kind of reminds me that that's where it's supposed to stop. And hopefully that does it. Right now, I should just be collecting wheat. It should just be coming in, no problem. Uh, I will just plant seeds as I get them. And yeah, hopefully I end up with just a nice crop of wheat. I really hope so because, I mean, I'm out of food. And I, I really need it. So there we go. That is the harvester all done. And once this iron golem's out of the way, it should be fairly secure. And it should be producing for us nicely. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. And why don't we just do a little bit of exploring around the area? I haven't really done much exploring. Uh, I really just kind of ran from where spawn is all the way back to here. And as of right now, I don't have any idea where anything is. I know where the pit is. Uh, I know that there's a jungle over here. I know that whatever that thing is exists. I mean, I can go and take a look at that. What is this? What's this hole here? It's got a lot of cobwebs in it. There's some torches. I mean, I don't think I've been here before. I think I would have remembered this. All of these wonderful cobwebs. That might be good for us. Okay. Spiders. Ooh. Cave spiders. Of all the things, no cave spiders. Me no likey cave spiders. So what is this? What on earth is this place? Is this like, is this a place where cave spiders can spawn? I'm kind of curious. Can I get down there? It looks like there's cave spiders spawning. I, I can say that much. Ugh. Hey guys. Don't hit me. Okay. Don't. Don't come get me. I'm just curious. I don't want to die. All right. You're pushing me. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Here we go. Okay. 
Where did you come from? Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, stop chasing me. I'm leaving. We'll have to come back for you later. It's also, um, it's also getting to be nighttime. So I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go. Me and my half a heart. You're gonna chase me. That's fine. Totally fine. I'm just gonna eat and I'm gonna keep going. How, how about some capybara? Would you like some nice capybara? No? No, you still want me, huh? Okay. I mean, if I just walk a little bit longer, you're gonna have a bad time. Right? I mean, come here. There we go. Thank you. Thanks. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's do a little bit of exploring. Uh, so we can see kind of what's in the area. That would be really nice. Let's check this out. I was doing just some basic exploring. Uh, my house is really right over there, and I found just a nice little palm grove, I guess you could call it. Really cute. I really like these trees. And there's even like a banana tree over here. I don't know what these are. Are these anything? This is cabbage seeds. I already have cabbage, so I don't need those. But there's also stuff like crab over here. Look at this. Look at this. There's a red crab. Right? It doesn't like me. If I get too close to it, it pinches me. But I'm a little curious. Do I get crab meat? Wow. Those guys are strong. <laughs> he actually did. He actually hurt me a little bit. It doesn't look like he dropped any meat, though. I'm kind of surprised at that. What about you, blue crab? Will you drop meat? No, you just fall down. Okay. Well. Ooh, coconuts. Coconut slice. So apparently the palm trees can drop coconuts. And those would be really useful. But we have a village over here. Okay. More villagers that I could just grab. That would be nice. And some really cool, like, ruined bridges and whatever this structure is. What is that? That's a seashell. Oh, you can make seashell blocks and sand castles. Okay, I know what these guys are. All right. Yep. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to explore the village a little bit. I'm going to grab myself some villagers and uh, maybe head back home, drop those guys off. What are these? Just tomato seeds. Didn't look like tomato seeds. But yeah, I'm going to check this area out and we are going to just go ahead and grab ourselves some villagers, put them away. Uh, looks like there's a waystone here, so maybe I'll just put them in one of the chests in one of their houses and just activate the waystone so that I can come back here whenever I want and pick my villagers up. All right, cool. Let's do that. Okay, so with all those villagers put away and their hay very much looted by me, I have my food problem solved for a little while. We need to come up with a more permanent solution. Hopefully our contraptions can help with that. But I am going to leave it at that this week. Uh, unfortunately, because of the video issues that I had in the beginning, it might be a little bit shorter of an episode and maybe not as exciting as my previous episodes have been. But I will make sure to pump out some better episodes as we go along. I'm just starting out, so I'm bound to make mistakes. I got to live with that. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here for this week. My name has been Watchmiker, and if you liked this video, please make sure to hit the like button. If you loved this video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. I will see everyone next time. Bye.